the objective of the uh, Centre for Engineered Quantum Systems is to gain sufficient control over the quantum world that we can engineer new quantum systems that don't exist in nature and apply them to new technologies. The Centre is an Australian Research Council Centre of Excellence. Our research focus is to enable the next generation of technology exploiting quantum effects, taking into account the quantum properties. So that can have two aspects, a positive and a negative. The positive aspect is it lets us do things we can't currently do. And the negative aspect is at the moment we're hitting a wall in some technologies where quantum noise is becoming a problem and we can engineer around that. And the centre aims to encompass both of those things. We now have sufficient control over fabrication technologies, optical control uh, and engineering technology that we can begin to see how to engineer totally new kinds of quantum systems that are not atomic, indeed quite macroscopic, and then use their quantum properties to solve particular technical and technological problems. We've got people building superconducting circuits, working with optomechanical systems, uh, and even single photons. So we're trying a variety of different physical architectures. The centre has a new technology based on diamond nanocrystals, which uh, we're hoping to develop into uh, completely new kinds of quantum sensors for weak magnetic fields. Equus is actually trying to engineer quantum systems for future technologies, and this is actually where we come into play and, um, and for example, with our program on quantum sensors using nanodiamonds. Nanodiamonds are like the normal diamonds that we know from everyday life, like the gem diamonds, but they're much smaller in size. It's about 10,000 times smaller than the diameter of a human hair. However, like their macroscopic counterparts, nanodiamonds are also extremely durable and stable, and this comes about due to the special properties of the carbon atoms that form the diamond and the way they arrange in the diamond lattice. Finding a quantum system that is uh, interesting for technological uh, implementation, at, for example room temperature environments, harsh environments, is actually very tricky. And our work on especially the, the nano diamonds um, paves the way uh, in that direction and opens new possibilities there to have, for example, quantum sensors that work in these harsh environments and to have, for example, a, um, a quantum system that actually shows and keeps its quantum properties at room temperature. Here in the quantum optics lab, we, we're interested in the interface between the quantum properties of light, so quantum optics, and other fields, namely micro nanotechnology and photonic sensing. Uh, within the Center for Engineered Quantum Systems, our primary goal is, is to control the behavior of micro-mechanical systems at a quantum level and then apply them uh, in new technologies for sensing and communication. So a micro-mechanical system uh, is something like a guitar string, but reduced down in size to micron scale. So it's something you can just see uh, with your naked eye, but only just, and it rings just like a guitar string. In classical physics, uh, we understand uh, these oscillators very well. It turns out in quantum physics their behavior is fundamentally different. And what my group is trying to do is to access this quantum behavior of a microscale string and then use it to our advantage. So one of the things that's enabled the research that we do and that other groups around the world do in this area of quantum optomechanics is the development of new micro and nano fabrication technologies that allow you to build devices at micron and nano scale, uh, which we just couldn't do 10 years ago. I'm part of an international effort, both through Equus and through a variety of other teams, focused on trying to realize small scale quantum information processors or quantum computers using trapped atomic ions. Uh, our work in particular is looking to leverage control theory in this space in order to improve the functionality of uh, ion-based and, and other qubits and in order to, for instance, provide useful quantum memories. So an amazing aspect of control theory is not only can it improve the intrinsic properties of a hardware system, but it can give that hardware system totally new functionality. What we're working on in conjunction with our experiments on trapped ions is leveraging control theory in order to expand the performance of quantum simulators well beyond what occurs natively in the system. Equus is a, an extremely exciting place to work uh, based not only on uh, the 
colleagues and the uh, camaraderie we have, but also the broad range of scientific topics that we're exploring at what I really believe is the cutting edge of a new generation of quantum engineering. We've got a bunch of young researchers. They're all becoming rapidly, if they're not already, they're becoming world leaders in their fields and they're trying innovative new things that hasn't been tried anywhere on the world. And even better, we're all talking to one another, so we're getting a, a lot of cross-fertilization and hybrid approaches. It's a really fun centre to be in. The world is quantum. This is something we've known for over 100 years now. The basic fundamental laws of the universe are as described in the quantum theory. So, if you wish to control the world at its most fundamental level, it will necessarily be quantum.